This is Pastor Hannah. 젊은 친구들 안녕하세요. 한나 전도사님이에요. It's so great seeing you guys on Gem One Wednesday service. I invite you guys, and I also invite your friends to Gem One service. Well, at this time, we're going to praise God. So let's all stand up. Are you guys all standing up? All right, let's try that one more time. When I say stand up, we're going to say praise the Lord all together. Let's try that in count of three. One, two, three, stand up. Awesome, praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. And I'll see you guys after praise time. Verse 1 to 14. 
After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. Now at the Passover, the feast of the Jews was at hand. Lifting up his eyes, then and seeing that a crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they for so many? Jesus said, Have the people sit down now. There were much grass in the place. So the man sat down, about five hundred in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the leftovers, fragments, then nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Amen. Demon, I have a question to ask you. What is your favorite food? For some of you, it can be pizza, hamburger, tonkatsu, kimbap, or anything that your mom makes for you, right? Or if you don't have favorite food, what is your favorite dessert? Well, my favorite dessert is ice cream. Mm, I love ice cream. I love sweet things like cake and stuff like that. So delicious. Well, just thinking about food makes me want to smile, just makes me happy. I'm asking you this question because Jesus performs miracles in this story. But it actually is related to the food. Can you guys take a guess? Something about fish and bread. That's right! Five loaves of bread and two Fish. Awesome. Very good. Some of you guys know this story and some of you guys need to refresh the story. So we're gonna go over today's daily verse. So the story happens near the Sea of Tiberias. A lot of people, not just one, two, ten hundred, but more than five thousand people started following Jesus. Remember, they wanted to hear the stories that Jesus was sharing. What kind of stories was it? It was about kingdom of God, right? And also Jesus did a lot of healings and miracles and people wanted to get healed. Well, it got dark listening to Jesus and getting healed. It got really dark and people started getting hungry. 우리 친구들 배에서 배고프면 어떤 소리가 나요? 오르륵 하고 소리가 나죠. And that's what happened. People were starting to get hungry because they have not eaten dinner yet. Well, Jesus looks at one of his disciples named Philip and he goes, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? Well, Jesus asked this question question because he didn't know what to do with these people? No, Jesus asked this question to test his disciples. Well, Philip said, Jesus, there are a lot of people. It's gonna take us a lot of money to buy food for these people, to provide food. We can't do it. Well, 
another disciple comes into play, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Andrew goes, Jesus, we have a boy here, little boy. Well, he brought something to eat for himself. He has five loaves of bread and he has two fish and he's willing to give it to you. Jesus told him to bring the boy to him and the boy gave his lunch to Jesus. And Jesus took the food, he lifted up, he gave thanks to God. Before we eat, we pray, right? And that's what Jesus did. He prayed with a thankful heart. And he gave it to disciples and said, all right, I want you guys to pass the food out to people so that they may eat. But here comes the catch. As they were sharing the bread and as they were sharing the fish, were they running out? No, it didn't run out. All the people who were there, they all ate and they were full. Well, the Bible says that about 5,000 people ate. Long time ago, they didn't count children. They didn't count women. So when they say 5,000, they're roughly counting the men, only older men. So think about older men, think about women and children. That's a lot more than 5,000 people. And then Jesus said, bring all the leftover food. So the disciples went around and they collected all the leftover food. And guess what? They had 12 baskets left over. And how many Disciples that, uh, and how many disciples does Jesus have? 12, right? Well, perfect number. Everyone who was following Jesus, they all ate food and they all went home back satisfied, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Today, we want to look closely into a little boy who gave everything to Jesus. All he had was five loaves of bread and two fish. He could have been selfish and he could have just ate everything on his own. And I'm sure he was hungry too. But he gave it to Jesus. And what did Jesus do? He took it and he prayed to God. A thankful prayer. And when that happened, there was a miracle. You guys, there is nothing impossible for God. Just like this little boy who gave everything to Jesus, we wanna do that too. We don't wanna be selfish during the hard times, but we wanna share and we want to give with a thankful heart. To love one another, to love God. Let us pray at this time. Let's put our hands together. We're gonna close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. Dear God, in today's story, we saw a little boy who gave everything that he had to you. And you took what was small to turn into something big. God, just like this little boy, we want to give with a thankful heart and we want to share the love of God to those who are in need of you. Help us to uh, be an example to those around us. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen.